We are happy now to be joined by that state senator from Florida, Alan Hayes, here to discuss his new bill to make the film required viewing. Senator, we thank you for your time. Welcome to America's Forum. Well, good morning. It's good to be with you. Now, Senator, I was coming out of the movie just the other day, and your bill has made a splash because I heard two other patrons in the theater saying, oh, that was a great movie, and I hear someone in the state legislature wants kids to have to watch this thing. Do you think you can get this bill passed, Senator? I certainly do. I just, I don't, I don't file bills for spectacular reasons or to make statements or anything. I, I file bills for success and uh, I certainly plan to see this one across the finish line and get the governor's autograph. Now, Senator, you say really the point behind this bill is to encourage discussion and a frank opening of minds. So you say you wouldn't mind a liberal film also being shown. Any thoughts on which ones you'd like? Not really. Um, I'd leave that up to the to the curriculum designers or the individual teachers, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if if you're only speaking the truth, the truth will set you free. And and I will put Americanism and and patriotism right up beside any other system that anybody wants to put at it. And you put the two, give them honest presentations, mm -hmm. and I guarantee you that Americanism is going to win every time. So am I to gather that your goal is really not so much to promote the views in this film, but to encourage people to think outside the box and go further than just the textbooks that they learn in school? Well, honestly, it's a shame that, that it's considered thinking outside the box. What I want to do is to make sure that the students in Florida have an accurate portrayal of history. And I truly believe that what they're learning now is not completely accurate. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this movie puts the falsehoods out there and then it shows the rebuttal to those falsehoods, I think in a very professional way, in a very intellectual way. And my, my word to anybody of, of another thought process, uh, bring it on. Are you afraid of the truth? And if you're not, then don't object to showing this movie. But as one other thing I'd like to add about the movie, my bill will require that every eighth grader and every 11th grader in Florida see this movie, unless their parents uh, send a, a note asking for their students to be excused from it. So it's not like the parents have to allow their children to see it. Sure, and that's, only an, on parental consent. And that's an important provision there, Senator Hayes. But I also want to ask you and go back to what you just mentioned about the uh, mistruths, the, the things that are being taught in public schools in Florida today, do you have any specific examples of, of some of what you just talked about? Not specifically. I, I've seen some of the textbooks and some of the, the material in them. I filed a bill and, and the governor signed the bill into law this past year, um, this past session, having to do with instructional material um, adoption by local school boards. And it, the bill provides an avenue whereby citizens who object to the use of certain instructional materials, can they now have an appeal process to their local school board. And, and there's where you can get into the individual things. I've seen some of the math, I've seen some of the reading assignments, I've seen some of the history books, and, and I'm terrifically disappointed that our students would be exposed to such things as that. Yeah. So I think that, that there are a lot, of, a lot of areas for improvement. Quite honestly, I think just the, the, the educational system failure is the biggest reason that the current occupant of the White House sits there. I okay. think his occupancy of the White House is, is an indictment of our educational system all across America. And we need to, to get back to teaching the truth. We need to remove politics from the educational system. We need to teach history as it happened and teach it truthfully showing the whole story, and that's what this movie does quite well. Senator, about a minute and a half left. There's an interesting Gallup poll that's come out. The findings, uh, I think, pertain to our discussion today. For example, uh, the question was asked, uh, are you proud of America? And uh, the answer is 85% say they're proud, but back in the early, uh, right after the turn of the century, in the early 2000s, the level of pride was in the 90s. Why do you think there's been a decrease in pride in America? And uh, will showing a movie like America reverse this trend among uh, high school students? 
Well, I don't think just showing the movie alone will reverse the trend. I think that the numbers are down because the citizens of America are seeing the performance of our Congress. They're seeing the performance of the administration. They're seeing our foreign policy uh, abject failures. And, and they're not proud of our abandonment of Israel. They're not proud of the way the other uh, foreign relations have been going on. And, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a, a real shame. State Senator, Allen, uh, State Senator Alan Hayes, we thank you for your time. We'll have to leave it right there. Uh, discussion has certainly been prompted by your legislation, sir, and we look forward to visiting with you again in the not too distant future. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Thank you, sir. So the discussion is going on right here. We'd like your input on this. Why don't you tweet us your remarks at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also NewsmaxTV.com slash comment. And don't forget Facebook. America's Forum will continue following this timeout.